Hello fans, welcome to part 8 of our Rayman 2 playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we did the Bayou and finished up the Walk of Life. Um, as you can see, we are close to finishing up the first part of the game, really. Um, the first quarter, as they consider it. Uh, that's the only one here we haven't completed fully, uh, as you can see. Um, I'll go back there and get 100% later. I don't feel like right now. And so, as you can see, we are going to the Sanctuary of Water and Ice. Um, we are going to fight a boss from one of Lucas's masks. I think he was a real person, I'm not sure. Oh, you gotta use enough lums to get into. This is what the lums are all for. Um, the yellow ones is to get into a world like this. Okay, this council has no walls, just saying. There's just, like, blackness everywhere. But this is N64 graphics for you, so I'm not going to argue with it. Here we go, guys. You see this little intro here. It means you're about to fight the boss. You need so many lums. Kind of like um, other games where you need like Don Colleen, so many bananas to fight the bosses. And um, I know Banjo, you need so many notes to move on. I don't really know if they got bosses. There are, there are no bosses. And Mario, you need so many stars to fight the bosses and shit. Well, Rayman does it too. But um, if you're using this as an LP, um, as far as I'm concerned, you probably won't need it, but. I'm really careful what comes in these lums here. This is not an LP, it's just blinds for fun. Not only blinds, more of a just for fun. Uh, not fully prepared, but I know I, I know a little bit of what I'm doing, at least. It's not completely blind. Well, that's, that's what I can write and see. I think you usually do blind LPs. Oh, jeez. What the fudge? What the fudge, bitch? Said that. I'm gonna lose so many subscribers for cussing. I lose them like every time I cuss for some reason. But I'm so used to it. It's just like, oh, good cuss anyway. Fire as well. Um, as you know, a lot of people who play this game consider this their favorite level. I agree. This is a pretty freaking cool level. But remember that. Don't forget that. What about five small ones? Let's put one big one there. Uh, Ubisoft, yet again, you're just being stupid. But, in a smart game, too. A cleverly smart game. Yeah, I feel bad for the guy who hit all the yellow lumps, just so no one will try to find him. Okay, I'm gonna go down here first. There are some mums in here and a secret room. So let's get those. It's kind of easy to swim in this game, if I, if you, if you think really. Uh, compared to like the Mario or whatever you're doing, how you swim, this is pretty easy. Especially, especially compared to Banjo, because you can barely get near anything in swimming in that game. This one you can just quite easily just, oh, I'm swimming. Press A and press Z to keep going a little higher or a little lower. Just like moving around on the land. It's just, this is actually the most basic swimming controls are, that you can get, probably. There's no nothing pulling you down, nothing pulling you up. Yeah, but what you know, gravity has no effect when you're under the water scientifically. No, it does, it does. If you're not in the right position, it will hold you under, but you guys know. You know what I mean. So if you're not in the proper swimming position, you can't swim. Whoa. I should probably go back and look through there, shouldn't I? There's nothing there because this game is so freaking epic. 
Oh, that made no sense. I think there would be something back there, because I like longer levels. I like longer levels in certain kinds of games. Like, RPGs, I don't really like long levels, I like short ones, like battles and stuff. But games like this, where it's just running around, quick fights, uh, those ones, you, got, you can't like having long levels, where it's, these ones go too fast. And it's like a really good design builder. These things here, I don't know why, but I freaking love these things. I don't, just the design really good, probably. Um, for N64, this is pretty good designing and programming right here. Um, the feathery look to them. The most look the light is still a pretty good look. And what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to throw equally or similarly colored balls. They're really more of a, they're more of a swirly kind of thing, like a light or something. But um, either way, shut up. Just shut up. And this is the orange one, and as you can see, I'm going to throw it to the orange thing. Right here, the music sounds so happy and stuff. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's not something you'd see in a Mario game, but it's just, just, just happy, you know? Happy music would just be really awesome every once in a while in any game, really. Uh, yeah. Except in those ones have too much happiness. And as you can see, um... Pro the fancy programming all just ends like, stuff, like all of a sudden. It's not that good anymore, is it? It doesn't matter. We got this one too. Well, I'm gonna really gotta walk a barrel down there. Jeez. That's stupid. That's bullshit. It's bull fucking shit. No, I think there's a secret area down here somewhere. I'm not sure. Never know. Yeah, what's about to come up is probably the hardest part ever because you can fail the lums so easily. But if you're really careful, you can get them all. So don't try to get the L. Peter's curse that moment. The L. Peter's curse. Discovered by Chicken Con Roy. Or NCS. One, two. Let's do the zone. Okay, cool. Jerk! I love the sound it makes when you drop them. It makes a little like sound like you drop like a like a uh, plastic tube or something. It's funny. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, one of those rubbery things people use when they put cords in. You drop the really thick ones. It actually does sound like that. Or plastic tubes are used for like uh, toy rockets and stuff too. They make an identical sound. I would know because I built one recently. So anyways. As awesome as I am. You just saw those yellow and blue ones. I don't think anyone notices this, but those yellow and blue balls. Look at this. Look at that really closely at the sprite. Look at the little light there. Oh, I'm not, ah, crap. Where is it? Here it is. They're identical sprites. They're white ones. Oh, that sounded wrong. That sounded wrong. I don't like use that joke much, but now it is really appropriate that I use that joke. Seriously. That's a that's what she said moment. That's what she said. I love when we walked out, he just like disappears out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like I'm just walking in like the boss. And look, there's no walking back. You're already here. Yep, this is it. Um, this is the checkpoint. Look, look, you can look there. See? It's the same sprite, there's white ones. Well, let's do this. Remember, there are yellow mums in here. You don't want to miss any of them. The red ones you can miss. I don't really mind. Those. Okay, careful, careful. Rayman, careful. Oh, crap! When you fail, just jump off like this. Jump off! And jumping off will result in being back at the start. Thank you for watching.